Today in our 2017 Ford Taurus, we're going to be test fitting the Yakima Fullback 2 bike rack for trunk mounts, part number Y02634. We already have a bike installed on the rack. Let's take a closer look and show off some of the features. Now, like its cousin, the Halfback, this has a lot of the same features as that, but there are a few differences. Such as, at the end here, we do have one end that does have the Yakima bottle opener on it. However, at the other end, we do have an integrated cable lock that can pop out, wrap around your front bike, and attach to this point and lock them into place to secure them to the bike rack. We do have the wheel strap that does come along with it to help prevent vehicle to tire contact. And for both bikes attached, there is a much longer strap that wraps around both as well as the bike rack itself to create stabilization for traveling. To grip it into place, we do have two zip strips up at the top and one off to the side, which is going to serve as an anti-sway cradle to keep the bike from moving too far back and forth and causing bike-to-bike -bike contact. And I would like to point out that the cradles are stationary where they're at now, but they do have the super cush material at the pads here to help protect the frame of your bike once you install it. And a little tip for loading and unloading. You may want to push the anti-sway cradle all the way up out of the way just to make it much easier to take on and off so you don't have to wobble it around to get it into place where you need it. So let's go ahead and take the bike off. To do that, there's tabs on either side of the zip strips. You just push them in at the same time and they pop right out. Lift it off and set it to the side. We'll put our zip strips back into place just so we don't lose them. And with the bike rack in this position, I want to give you a quick measurement. Measuring from the edge of the trunk to our outermost point, we've added about 25 and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle. Now for close quarter situations such as parking, we can fold these arms down by coming to the center hubs here. You're going to go to the light gray versions of the hubs. You push up on those and let the arms come down. You want to guide them with your hand because if you don't, they'll free fall. Again, measuring from the edge of the bumper now, we've only added about six and a half inches to the rear of the vehicle, so that did make quite a bit of difference. How this attaches to the trunk, we'll have four points of contact. We'll have two rubber-coated hooks up at the top, and they are labeled as such to avoid confusion. We do have these padded cam buckles here to tighten them down, and that's a little different from the halfback. And it's gonna be the same at the base here. We'll have two hooks holding into the base of the trunk, labeled bottom as well, and wherever it makes contact with the vehicle, whether it be at the base of the trunk or on the top side, it is padded to make sure that your vehicle won't get scratched as well. To adjust this to its proper position, we do have the center hub here. There is a dial on the back, it's kind of hard to see here now, but you would push this up and you would adjust it to fit your car, and for the, the adjustment for this particular vehicle is going to be three, but always double check your instructions to make sure that's accurate. And it also means that this can fit multiple vehicles as well. So there you have it for the Yakima Fullback 2 bike rack on our 2017 Ford Taurus. First we'll take it onto our slalom course. This will show you the side to side action, such as making turns or evasive maneuvers. Now we're at the alternating speed bumps. This will show you how it looks driving on uneven pavement or potholes. Finally, we're at the solid speed bumps, which simulates going into your driveway or parking lots.